Hello sports card fans, this is Ari Rowell with ThePit.com with another market report. Today we'll be talking about um, a very iconic card, the 86 Fleer Michael Jordan in PSA 9. Um, so this card, uh, obviously, very, very, very sought after. Uh, so the reason we're talking about this card today is we recently had uh, one of our uh, bigger traders uh, sell a good portion of his collection. So this card was actually sold to another pit trader uh, for $6,500. Uh, now that price might sound kind of low, um, but there's <clears throat> there's some reasoning behind that. So so this uh, so this trader uh, did buy that card uh, for $6,500, and he did relist it for $7,000. So the pit also does have uh, two other copies of this card at $7,500 and $7,595. With a bit of six thousand, so um, the reason we want to talk about this card today is uh, why exactly it seems like that that card seems underpriced. So it's actually really not underpriced. So if you look at uh, eBay, um, the cheapest on eBay right now um, are between seventy eight hundred and seventy nine ninety five, and of course on this particular one, um, it does have a hundred and fifty dollars shipping charge. Uh, reason being uh, the insurance involved in shipping a card of that value. <clears throat> a similar case here uh, where it's $25 shipping. So these are uh, relatively around the same amount. So you're, you're talking about, about $8,000, whereas the pit has uh, <clears throat> you know, three for sale under that price. So the reason that um, the, the seller decided to uh, sell that card for $6,500 is, first of all, this card was nowhere near $6,500 even, you know, a year ago. So, you know, that, that seller decided, you know, hey, I can make an easy profit on this card, get some cash now, and, and you know, get out of that card. So, um, and of course, we had another trader who was happy to buy at that price. So on the pit, um, when you want to cash out, so you can sell a card and cash out, uh, and there's a 10% uh, PayPal cash out fee. So he was able to get around you know $5,900 cash in PayPal, um, and and the reason the reason that you know makes <clears throat> makes a big difference is that if you were to sell uh, this same exact card you know, for $8,000 on eBay, you know, eBay is going to take 10% of that. Um, so, so you're already down to 7,200 as a seller. And then of course there's the PayPal fee, which is about 3%. So you're talking about about another $250. So you're already looking at, as a seller, you're already looking at, um, only receiving 7,000, around 7,000, about $6,900 <clears throat> after the, just the PayPal and the, um, the eBay fees. So, so in, in reality, it's not really that far off of, um, of where you could expect to sell this card on eBay. Uh, the big difference with, with the pit is that if you sell a card on the pit for $7,000, uh, because there's no transaction fees, um, you can choose to instead, uh, <clears throat> reinvest that money um, into other cards. Uh, which you know, when you're dealing with seven thousand dollars, you know, obviously you can, you can do a lot with that on the pit. So, uh, <clears throat> so, but but the biggest thing is is that you know people will say, well, why don't you just put the card on eBay? Why don't you just you know put it for auction? I mean, you know, these PSA nines are going for you know seventy three, seventy four hundred, even on you know current bids. So I'm just like, why would you do that? Well, I mean, there are several reasons for that. So first, uh, on eBay. Um, <clears throat> especially with a card of this value, uh, there's the chance of, of, of uh, the winners not paying uh, or the winner, you know, just simply not actually uh, feeling that they can afford it and essentially needing to cancel the transaction, which is just a pain. And of course, on eBay, you know, if you have a bidding or you can always do a second chance offer, but, um, but you know, that second chance offer is going to be significantly lower than, going to have to be significantly lower than the file. So there's that. And then there's also, uh, you know, there's always the risk that uh, someone might decide, oh, you know what, I really want to return this card. I really can't, I, I love this card. I wanted to hold it and now I just want to return it. Uh, people will actually do that on eBay, uh, unfortunately. And, you know, not to badmouth eBay, but, um, <laughs> this isn't to badmouth eBay, but, um, it does happen. You know, people do return cards a lot. And on the pit, you know, if you sell a card on the pit, um, 
and then you know you as a seller do not need to worry about uh, worry about returns so you know well, you can let the pit deal with that so so yeah if you've been looking to pick up a michael jordan psa 9 uh the pit is definitely a uh, a good place and if you've been looking to sell a a michael jordan um, it's also a good place so you can you know you can list your michael jordan for significantly less on the pit and still make the same the same essentially the same amount of money especially when you're dealing with cards of this you know this type you're not you're not dealing with an additional three percent or even having to ship the card yourself that that is a huge difference because of course shipping this card is very expensive because of the insurance involved um in making sure that this card does make it safely so so yeah so that and so when someone you know when you have someone who's really just trying to get some cash quickly uh, there's really no better way than on the pit you know if you have somebody that's willing to pay you significant value and of course you know even with him cashing out he, he still made a profit on on this psa so, so it's an easy way to, you know, essentially uh, cash in on your baked in profit. So, yeah. So, uh, what do you guys think uh, of the market for the 86 uh, Michael Jordan? Obviously, you know, very hot market. It's always been a hot market, but especially right now. Uh, you know, where do you see this card ending up? Do you think that it is a good buy at 7,000? Do you think that it is sort of plateaued or do you think that it'll keep going up? I, I personally think that it's going to go up a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see this card eventually reach $10,000, uh, especially with how rare PSA 10s are. But, uh, so yeah, so definitely, uh, let us know your thoughts on this. And, you know, if you are look in the market to buy a, a Flare PSA 9, you, know, you can also be uh, assured that these are, are genuine uh, Michael Jordans. Of course, there are some older holders out there uh, that are actually fakes, So, uh, but you never have to worry about that with a pit. These are verified and uh, as genuine. So, so yeah, if you want a, you know, if you're looking, if you're in the market to buy one, this is definitely a place to, to get one. And if you're looking to sell one, you can, uh, you know, essentially make the same amount of money on eBay without having to deal with the hassle um, and, and even offer a lower price. So, yeah, so that is today's market report for uh, Michael Jordan's 86 Fleer PSA 9. Uh, happy collecting and hope to see you trading on the pit very soon.